What's going on everybody? Lambo here. I got a short little tutorial that I'm going to throw at you here. Kind of, I want to explain how, uh, like when you hook up to a trailer, um, you know, uh, there's these little legs that pop out basically that support it so it doesn't fall over uh, when you're not hooked up to it. And that's this, this part right here. This actually moves up and down uh, using code. And we're going to show you kind of how that works right here. Uh, this is, it's it's going to fall under the input attacher for this one at least. Uh, you can attach this animation any which way, but it's going to be the animation name Move Support. And it's hooked up to this semi-trailer, right? And so when, when this node right here, this input attacher, hooks up to a truck or whatever, uh, it's going to activate this animation. And this animation, so... We got to find this animation name, Move Support. We're going to scroll down here until we get to this animation box right here. And you see animation name equals Move Support. Now, you'll see animation open tag, animation close tag. Let's just separate that out for a minute so you don't get confused. Okay. So, th what this is saying is this animation is named Move Support. So, that's a callback name. So, it can, when it goes to attach, up above in the attachable section here, it's going, hey, activate this animation. So now that it's activated this animation, part number 010, which you'll see here, I have this, this mesh part selected and it is 010. It's saying it's start time zero. So as soon as it attaches, it's gonna initiate this animation. If you wanted to delay that for a few seconds afterwards, you could put like 1.1 1 .1 or, you know, this is in seconds, essentially. Uh, n next, we're going to have end time. So this is how long it takes to actually lift itself up. Um, I think that's a little long, a little bit of a long time. So I'm going to do it like that. Okay. So it's start animation is going to start at zero second. It is going to be done at a second and a half. It is going to start at translation 0, 0 0.428, and 4.792. These numbers right here correspond to these translate X, Y, and Z. So it's going to start at 0, and then the next one it's actually going to be, so this is, this is actually set up a little weird right now. So we'll go like this, and uh, this first one, so it's actually going to start trans right there. And that one's actually correct. Now, when it when it starts to activate it, it's going to be here and basically when it disconnects this this animation is going to be activated uh either it's going to come up or go down. It's just all going to be based off of if you're attaching or detaching from it. But we want, uh, when I loaded this up in game, I noticed it was a little deep in, like it like it was falling into the map. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to lower this and change my, uh, uh, my actual time here. Because it says end trans here is going to be at zero, right? So let's say it's going to go all the way down to there at the end of it. And that is technically below, uh, like when, when you spawn this in game, if you have collisions like this below, uh, I created this plane here. Normally you would see the grid, right? Uh, but I created this plane to kind of give it the, the basics that you could look at it and be like, okay, that's going to be, that's going to be spawning that collision below the earth the earth basically and it's going to screw it up uh it's going to look funky in the shop so what we're going to want to do is either a lift all these up or b we're going to uh or b basically we're going to reset this collision to be just above there and then we'll have to t i'll have to test it in game to make sure that it's working and it's still going high enough that you can get a truck underneath there to hook up to it. Uh, if not, it's just going to spawn funky like that in the, when you go to buy it in store. Uh, but like I said, another easy way would just be to lift the whole model up just a hair. 
that way you're not spawning a collision outside of uh, outside of that. So we have this set currently right here. Um, instead of having it go to this entrance, which we just had, it was below the thing. We're actually going to have it come to 0 0.06. So we're going to change the Y translation. That's the center one right here to that. And we're going to, I'm going to see if that works. I'll have to have to add some video in for you guys, but that should be the way that we want it to be. And then, uh, so we're going to put this back to where it was at a 0 0.0428. There we go. Oh, no. Wait, what's zero at? Did we mess that up? No, that's perfect. Okay. Okay, so I'll have to load that up and make sure that works how we want it to work. Delete this, this little plane that I made here. This kind of gives you the basics. Uh, backup cam. Oh, I messed up his backup cam, didn't I? I have to reload up Winston's thing and see where his backup cam was at. I totally messed up his cam. Uh, I wasn't paying attention to that. Anyways, we'll hop out of that. Hit save. Hit save on this bad boy too. And then I'm going to wrap it all up. And maybe I'll throw a little in-game footage to see if that fixes it. If not, we'll have to adjust it a little bit more. Do you feel the